The stiff, yellowed canvas of the straight jacket chafes the pale girl's skin. She fights off a fresh wave of despair, which threatens to overwhelm her, and sits back into the corner of the concrete cell, and wonders for the millionth time, why me? Each night, Subject 5 of the Firefly Project, would do just that. Her home was Cell 5 at the Colgate University, Project Firefly was a sub-project of Project Monarch. Monarch subjects could torture and twist the minds of their victims, but the subjects of Project Firefly, could burn or boil them alive. This was advanced forms of mind control and LSD experiments. Subject 5 watched a dim red light on an ancient security camera blinks every five seconds, as if to remind her that they are watching. She would push herself farther back into the corner of her cell, each night hoping she could somehow push herself out of this prison. Small gears within the camera were as it scans the room, and then zooms in on the small figure huddled in the corner. She takes a deep breath, sighs, and focuses on forming a plan. The camera whirs once more as it zooms out, seemingly convinced that she is not a threat. A black rat falls from the water-damaged ceiling, looks up at number five, whiskers twitching as it sniffs the air, and then scurries away, squeezing under the door and out into the corridor. She can't help but feel a bit jealous at how easily the rat escaped from the cell. If they hadn't drugged her, she would have burnt that creature with her mind. With her eyes closed, she patiently moves her arms back and forth beneath the foul-smelling straight jacket that is slightly too big for her. She tries not to think about what might have happened to all of those who have worn that straight jacket before her, probably in that same room too. Her movements are slow, and deliberate so as to not raise the suspicion of the military doctors. The camera has gone quiet, giving her a renewed confidence in her plan. The tightly wound straight jacket begins to loosen, centimeter by centimeter, until she was able to freeze her left arm, and then her right. She grits her teeth, ignoring the burning pain of skin rubbed raw, or had her abilities return, could the burning pain be from something she was doing? The heat begins to undo the brass buckles on the back of the straight jacket. She doesn't know what's on the outside, she had hoped they would kill her as they did the rest of her family, as a baby, her only memory was of a man in green camo, pulling her out of a crib, and then walking over her mother's limp body. She knows that she is going escape, for her mother, no for her. A loud bang echoes down the corridor. Stay paranoid my friends.